Hello everyone, welcome to another WordPress tutorial where we explore tips and tricks you can use while working with our beloved Elementor page builder. Today's video is hopefully going to be the first in a series which will be focusing on the tips you can use with the Elementor gallery widget. That includes both the basic gallery widget and the pro gallery widget. So if you have Elementor free, there's a section for you. If you have Elementor Pro, there's also a section for you. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set custom aspect ratios for your images in the gallery widget. Elementor has some common aspect ratio settings, which is specifically for the Pro gallery widget, but although it's good, it lacks in some areas, especially when you want portrait pictures like 2x3 or 4x5 aspect ratio. It doesn't have those. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use custom CSS to set whatever value you want for the aspect ratio. The Pro Gallery widget and the Basic Gallery widget, they have slightly different ways that they implement the gallery grid. So, we'll be using different methods to set the aspect ratio and I'll show you in the video. And as usual, the custom CSS will be in the description below so you can copy it from there. And if you have any questions or any comments please do feel free to leave them in the comment section below and do like the video if it's helpful to you okay so let's begin so here we are in the edit screen of a new elementor page so the first thing we're going to do is to create a new section for this part of the video we're going to be focusing on the pro gallery widget so if you have the elemental free you can skip on to the next section so let's continue. Uh, next, we want to add the gallery widget. Just paste it in. Then we add our images. For now, I'm just going to pick some random images. So just pick these. Insert. Insert. And all we have to do is come over to advanced. And then scroll down to custom CSS. And then just paste in this code. And then where it says aspect ratio value, you can just set it to whatever number you want. So in my case, I'm just going to use, so for now I set three by four. So let's change it to two by three. And we can see it, the preview. This is a two by three. If you want it to be, uh, 16 by 9 you see you can get 16 by 9 aspect ratio easily uh, so how does the code work it basically is using some calculations uh, with the pro gallery widget Elementor uses background images and padding so it basically what it does is it's a calculation that says the width is 100% so we use some um, ratios to say the aspect ratio is width over height is equal to 100% over whatever the height we're trying to get. So if we want a 16 by 9, that's where the calculation comes in. You can see there, you can try and figure out what the calculation is doing. But essentially, it's just trying to calculate what the height will be based on uh, the width of 100%. If you have Elementor free, or you just want to use the basic gallery widget, so here's what you can do. So I'm just going to search for the basic gallery widget, drop it into a new section, add in my images. So I'm just going to pick random images. And then save it. Give it a class name for pro users you can you don't really need to do this but for the free users put in a class name so i'm just going to say gallery uh three by four and save and then head over to appearance customize Additional CSS, then paste this code in there. 
with remember to put in the class name that you wrote for the widget and then publish then head back over to the elementor page and refresh it then you can see now it has a 3 by 4 aspect ratio all you have to do now is give it gap as you would like so style uh, spacing custom and as much spacing as you want like so let's say 30 you see you have the 3 by 4 the only disadvantage if you're using elementor free is that you have to go back to your additional css or if you have a plugin like code snippets or wp code box then you can put your code in there but the nice thing about using elementor pro is that you can always just go to advanced and custom css and paste your css in there so i hope this video has helped you if it has please do like this video subscribe and leave comments below thank you